Welcome to another Unturned video. Today I'm going to play on a survival arid server all solo. If you guys do want episode 2 to come out soon and you guys do want this to become a series, make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 200 likes, subscribe for more videos and let's get straight into the video. Alright, and we are on on an arid server. Now, I actually have never played on a server which is arid. Usually I just go on single player. I'm gonna make the graphics down a bit lower. Now, I do know what to do. I do have an idea on how to progress. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually we're gonna come here and then we're gonna go to west side and then from here we can go to Kahraman airfield. But from there we can hopefully get ourselves some good weapons, maybe get ourselves a mega zombie kill as well. So that's currently the plan. Now, for arid, everybody knows that we have to grind so, so much. Everything literally is useful. I should have probably actually gotten some tools for from the save zone first but to be honest i'll probably get them afterwards well it looks like there are some kits on the server oh well there's an ego fire and the bulldog kit. okay well i am actually not going to use that i, I am not going to use that i'm going to dump them all over there i, I don't want to that kind of ruins the server so if we do get into pvp we're probably going to meet people that has those kind of kits but me personally i won't use them so yeah first what we're going to do is as, as i said earlier we're going to go to kahraman airfield uh, hopefully from there we get ourselves some good loot if we do then we'll head over to tomorrow complex and then we'll start probably progressing inside the bunkers obviously we got to build a base so obviously we gotta do some quests probably my end goal is going inside fort canal for this whole series the server doesn't have that much people either reason is that because i don't want to get killed every five minutes right, well i'm gonna loot over here really quick i hope there's actually nobody if we get ourselves a gun right now that would be really really good we're gonna pick up everything because everything on this map is useful there is a mega zombie okay well, I'm gonna take him to the landmines then. Hopefully that will kill him. I'm pretty sure it should kill him like after two or three landmines, right? All right, yeah, he's on his way. This is actually kind of genius to be honest. Oh, wait, he's not run. Oh, well, there he goes. Oh, yeah, he's not dead. All right. Oh, no, I'm dead. He did die as well, but I... <laughs> Okay, well, that's a great start. All right, we're gonna do the exact same thing then. We're gonna go to the... We're gonna go to the car, take us to that side, and then run all the way straight up. At least we did kill the mega zombie, so I didn't even get to look what loot he had. Oh, yeah, we're back. And there's a guy. Well, I have no gun, but I guess in extreme cases... He actually... Okay, well, he didn't see me. Dude, how did he not see my... Even I hit him. I should probably turn this headlamp off, actually. I'm bleeding as well. He's really running away from me. Hit him. Alright, he's dead, he's dead. Right, let's kill the zombie. Right, I know that I did say that I won't use other stuff from other maps. But I kind of had to, to be honest, over there. We did kill him, though. He had, like, I think, what was that? An LSR. So that's pretty good. Oh, damn. Yeah, he has some loot. Oh, blowtorch as well. That's alright. Alright, now we'll dump the stuff that we got. What's here? Oh, yeah, stuff from the mega, yeah? Oh, this is my loot. Right, let's take nothing. I didn't really have anything too special. Right, let's kill the zombie. Alright, yeah, we did get an LSR. Alright, yeah, we got ourselves an LSR, some ammo as well. The fact that there are some dump kits from other maps kind of ruin it, in my opinion. So I'm gonna drop everything that there is not from this map. I guess we could keep the headlamp because it's going to be very, very useful. I know that it's not from this map, but if other people are gonna be using it on the same server, then I don't see why I shouldn't do the same. But yeah, we got ourselves some PvP already. Now we're gonna head over to Tamara Complex. We're probably gonna get the first key that takes us inside the first bunker. And then from this one specific bunker, we'll just get the key for the next room. And then from there, we can get ourselves the key to AG-18. Right, we made it to Tamara Complex. I did notice that I was wearing teeth clothes, which aren't from this map, so I'll drop those as well. Now we do really need the hammer, to be honest, so that we can start salvaging stuff, making them into metal. I don't really think we can get a hammer from here. Right, well, there are some junk here and there. Uh, we can take this HQ fabric because that's going to be very useful later on. Yeah, we need a pocket knife as well. Even this am empty ammo pouch. That can be made into HQ fabric as well. I'm still gonna pick up everything even though I don't have a hammer because some of these stuff can be traded inside the safe zone. We can get ourselves some really good loot. There's a mega zombie there actually as well. Right, that's really good. All right, he's dead. All right, let's clear out all of the zombies now. Let's take the ammo box. Let's pick up everything that the mega drop. Oh yeah, we got a Zolesh as well over there. Oh, there's two Zoleshes actually. That's really good. Now on this server, there is Decay by the way. So it might be a bit hard. Alright, we're gonna pick up the dog tags as well because those can be really important. There's a Rosved over there. We can drop that. We don't really need that. We got ourselves an RPG part. There's a compass as well. Let's put some attachments on this. Alright, let's go for the first key card now. Alright, so in order to get the first key card, we would need to enter this building over here. Let me take the ammo box. Now this was actually updated some time ago, so the key kind of moved. All right, so the key is now moved and you can get it right from over here. And now we can actually enter inside the first bunker. Or from there, you can't really get any 
anything that special though. I mean, you can get Zolash and a bunch of intermediate ammo, some craftables here and there. The main thing that you can get from there is a key, which that is what we're literally gonna go for. I'm gonna use the headlamp. Usually, I would need to get night vision first, but since the server, everybody's gonna be running around with a headlamp, I might as well do the exact same thing. All right, so I'm gonna show you where you can also get this key from, by the way. So it literally just goes straight down. You can even do this without night vision, to be honest. It's very easy to see. Key's right over there. Now we can literally go all the way back up. You can explore this, to be honest, but I don't really see any good loot that you could get from this. All right, so the key leads us to this room. And then in here, there's this other key, which is an AG-18. So in here, you can find pretty much a bunch of junk. Honestly, I don't really come here. The only reason is to get that key, which is for AG-18. We got ourselves some good loot. Um, We don't really have anywhere to store it, though. So we got to get ourselves like an axe or a saw or something. So I've been looting for a bit. Got myself a hammer, which is really, really good. And we're over at Shalal Water Station right now. From here, we can get ourselves like a bunch of craftables. And there's like a police area. But pretty much, I'm salvaging everything. And we might make a crate, like a metal crate. So at least we have ourselves some storage yeah we just need some bars and we can make bars there we go and we got ourselves a metal crate now i'm pretty sure this one cannot be opened by everyone it's like a normal locker now the problem is i need like an ox or a saw to actually build a wooden base or maybe with an entrenching tool we can go underwater and get ourselves some clay make them into stone and build like a stone base but the problem is we would need charcoal and in order to get charcoal we need a saw but we still need a saw nonetheless well i'm currently salvaging some stone there we go, we got ourselves some clay. Now we need the campfire to actually smell this. Well, there's a base here and there's a campfire as well. If you guys didn't know, anything can be salvaged by other people. So even though somebody else built this, I can technically salvage it. That is really, really good. There's a base over here. There's also a car. We could technically blow that up. I didn't even know that there's like fast salvage on the server as well. I don't know if it's an arid thing or a, or the server thing. On vehicles on arid, if you blow them up, they could drop like vehicle parts, which you could sell them or salvage them. For now, probably I'll just salvage them so that we can get metal and maybe make ourselves some more storage. But though I barely have any space in here. All right, so we're gonna place the campfire here for now yeah i would need charcoal to actually smelt that stone yeah we gotta get ourselves a saw we're probably gonna get that from like either a civilian area or like a town i'm gonna place the safe here I'm gonna put all of the important stuff that I don't want to lose, such as hyper velocity ammo, the HQ fabric, that backpack, all these ammo pouches. We don't really have anything that special, to be honest, though. There we go, we already filled it up. Oh, there's a toolbox. Okay, I'm actually that's really, really important, actually. It's like one of the most useful items in Arid. Well, this toolbox, we actually do need it in order to craft ourselves the saw. Pretty much craft anything. So I can't really lose that. So I'm in the main city. We're gonna go inside AG18. AG18 is the biggest bunker that there is, apart from the dead zone, obviously. In here, we can get ourselves two keys. One for AG19, which is the dead zone bunker, which obviously for now we cannot enter since we don't have a gas mask. And then there's another key that's like some random loot room somewhere. Now, obviously, I wouldn't have been able to go in if I don't have night vision, but I do have a headlamp. And hopefully from here, we can get ourselves some really, really good loot. Well, I've been looting around for a bit, got myself some really, really good loot. I'm trying to get myself the key. There we go. We got ourselves a key. Uh, now we could actually go back because we did get what we need. Our inventory is full. We got ourselves some really, really important items. Actually, all of those ammo belts can be crafted into gunpowder eventually with the toolbox. We got ourselves some lenses as well. Uh, some guns. We got ourselves a RPG part, a bunch of ammo. So now we can actually return back. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally found ourselves a saw. I was literally going back to base from AG18 and decided to go through this. And there we go. Got ourselves a saw. Now we can actually go back and build a base. There's also a hatchet over here. No way. <laughs> no, perfect actually. Now we got ourselves pretty much a one by one ready. Place a doorway. And now the roof. In order to make a metal door, I'm pretty sure that we just need some frags. Oh, well, I actually made the wooden door. Nobody can open them except for me, so. I also made myself a bunch of crates. Now we can actually deep all of this loot that I have. And not being terrified that if I do get killed, I would lose everything. Alright, so the next thing that we're gonna try to do is a gas mask. From there, we can go inside AG-18. In order to get a gas mask, we need a filter. Which we do need steel mesh for. Now, steel mesh can be found in construction areas. Or we can actually get ourselves a bunch of random junk. And then go inside the safe zone and trade them. But we do need a a lot of items for that so i'm gonna go over to overpass hopefully from there we can get ourselves some steel mesh oh military computer that's actually kind of important right i think you can make centuries with that something like really really important i'm not sure though i right, just looted overpass didn't really get anything that important though we are back in AG18. I'm only hoping for a steel mesh out of everything, to be honest. We are, we are getting a bunch of guns. I did get myself another toolbox as well. Now, I honestly did think that we're gonna meet more people. Like, there's like 10 people on the server in total, but I'm literally not finding anybody. 
Our base is starting to get a bit cramped up as well, actually. I think it might be time for me to upgrade it to a 2x1. And base is now a 2x1. Let's go. I have myself quite a bunch of planks over here. Alright, so I've been farming for like 2 hours. I did get myself enough steel mesh to actually go inside. To actually go inside the dead zone, so that's what we're going to do next. I only have myself literally no filters, though, just the gauss mask. But in AG19, we don't require that much filters, unlike Fort Knell. So I would one, hopefully I'll get myself enough roll of lead, because that's all we need from this dead zone. All we need is roll of lead in order to craft biohazard clothes, so that we can enter inside Fort Knell. Alright, time to enter the dead zone. Oh yeah, to kill these zombies, we actually do need to shoot them, I can't melee them. Alright, roll of lead. I'm literally gonna pick up everything that I see, because anything in here is actually kind of good. Oh yeah, all of those boxes over there can be salvaged into a lot of ammo, actually. From here, you can also get MKP, which is really, really good. Oh, we got a rucksack. I think that's the best backpack, actually, apart from the Elise pack. Now, if I remember correctly, from here, you can also get some kind of key. I forgot where it is, though. I don't really want to waste time looking for it, though. All I really care for right now is roll of lead. Oh, there we go, another roll of lead. So we are back in base. My inventory is pretty much full. I didn't get enough roll of lead in order to craft the bias hazard top and bottom. We can only craft one. But I did get myself a lot of ammo belts. Now if we do get ourselves a toolbox in our inventory, we can actually get ourselves like a lot of good items. We got explosive compounds, a bunch of gunpowder. Now we can stack all of those gunpowders into full bottles. Even this AP shell can be salvaged. Now we do need to go back one more time because we didn't get enough roll of lead in order to get full, to get both biohazard top and bottoms. So we gotta go back anyway. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for episode 1. Now episode 2 is going to come out very very shortly. We're going to continue on the same server. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.